what is up everybody shauna d man here and welcome back to the channel i hope you guys are doing great hope you guys are having yourselves a pretty good day bringing you episode five of the auburn podcast for the 2024 year and we are primarily going to talk about auburn football yes auburn basketball did play yesterday um i ended up having to go into work early so i didn't really stay up to watch the game i um so but i'll probably talk about it on Sunday or Monday, depending on how things go. Uh, but a lot of news right now when it comes to Auburn uh, football. So first and foremost, <clears throat> uh, let's talk about the transfer portal. Auburn continues to add quality pieces from the transfer portal. So the other week, I didn't get a chance to touch on this, but the other week, uh, Auburn picked up the Percy Lewis, who was the offensive tackle from Mississippi State, uh, who's more likely going to be your starting uh, your starting left tackle heading into the 2024 season. They'll probably move Dylan Wade inside, and then Percy, uh, Percy Lewis will be the left tackle. And then not, only, not long after that, they picked up a commit from uh, Jaron Top. Jaron Thompson, who was a safety at Texas. A lot of people remember he was I think it was the game winning interception. And I, it, he had like an interception against, against Alabama in uh, week two last season. But Auburn, again, picks up a, a good quality safety right there. A guy who, who who's probably going to start or maybe in a heavy rotation to start. Um, if now Auburn, I, would, Auburn wasn't, I wasn't sure if Auburn would take a safety. I know their chips were all in on KJ Bolden. And if they would have gotten him, he would have more likely been the starting safety. But obviously, he committed to Georgia. So now uh, you needed to go out and find a safety because you also had Marquise Gilbert, who entered the transfer portal. Uh, and then just the other day, Donovan Kaufman entered the transfer portal. And so your your safety position is a little young right now. Um, you did sign Laquan Robinson. Uh, but now you got Jaron Thompson. Uh, and I think there's another guy that I'm trying to think of, but I could be wrong about that. Um, and then you bring in yesterday. So yesterday, obviously, was out with Nick Saban retiring. Alabama has had a slew of patients in the transfer portal. Uh, one of those is, I believe he was a redshirt freshman, Antonio Kite. He committed to Auburn. He actually visited Auburn yesterday, committed later that day. And again, a quality piece right there. He, he's, a, he's a very talented guy. He didn't play uh, a lot in some of these games. I think he was more on special teams. He did come in here and there in different spots, but it, it's a good pick. It's, it is a nice pickup right there. Um, it's, it's, there's much not much more to say about it. So now, um, once you get your defensive coordinator in, you can definitely they they can figure out what they want to do. I again, I think Jared Thompson and Antonio Kite are guys who are going to contribute. I think Jared Thompson's going to contribute a lot more than uh, Antonio Kite this first season. But I could be wrong. We we could see. I think Kite can play safety and cornerback. He may be able to do some nickel as well, but He's primarily going to be, uh, at least I think, in the safety position as well. So now your defense continues to improve in spots. Now you are you do have a lot of young guys who have not had a lot of playing experience. They listen. They're going to be playing for for sure. Um, any more portal additions? Um, Probably not. I don't know. I mean, if, if there's a guy that they like, uh, maybe. But I think right now that's probably going to be it because classes are about to start. Uh, I think like Auburn's last day was well, technically yesterday, but you could probably move stuff around to benefit you a little bit. But uh, they, that's probably going to be it. And that's probably going to be it till after spring. Now you did have. Like I mentioned, Donovan Kaufman and Cam Riley leaving. Um, it is what it is. Uh, probably post spring, we'll have to just see how things look because a lot 
usually by the end after spring, a lot of guys kind of know where they are, where they sit, um, heading into the all into the uh, uh, June, July fall camp. So we could see a lot more movement. There are some guys I'm surprised that that have not entered, like um, Wesley Steiner. I'm surprised that he has not entered the portal just yet. But I mean, who knows? It, we'll we'll see. Um, and I don't think there's anybody else that I can think of that Auburn is looking to get. Uh, and maybe one more like edge position, maybe maybe one more defensive lineman position. You could probably take one more offensive line because that offensive line is also going to be pretty young next season. But I, I don't think it's like a like a big big take or anything like that um obviously like i said you're just gonna have to wait and see how things play out after spring with this roster so that's pretty much it that's all the transfer stuff that's gone on Kaufman, kaufman cam riley out in comes in in comes in uh percy lewis jaron thompson and antonio kite I don't, I don't know why i forgot his name so so that there, there, there is that. Now Auburn officially hired. They got the offense coordinator. Now this is something that has been in the work. This probably could have happened a lot sooner if Ole Miss and Lane Kiffin weren't being so, pretty much old. Uh, Lane Kiffin wasn't being so petty because it sounded like with with Derek Nix's contract, he couldn't leave unless it was for a job. Like an offensive coordinator job where he'll be calling plays. Well, Hugh Freeze has come out and said he's calling plays. And so the past couple of days, Lane Kiffin has just been been this annoying person on Twitter. Like it has just been so ridiculous on how he has been acting. Um, and even even yesterday, before official, before Derek Nix himself or Auburn or anybody could really make the announcement themselves. Ole Miss and Lane Kiffin put out a statement, and it was it was just so ridiculous. It was just so retarded with the way he was acting. It's Lane Kiffin. What more is there to say about it? Um, but Auburn, Auburn gets Derek Nix. He is going to be the offensive coordinator slash running backs coach. Um, and you can you can go. I think twenty four seven. You can go and look up uh, a lot of the guys he was involved in recruiting wise. And this, and again, this is a guy that Hugh Freeze is familiar with. He, he's uh, Derek Nix spent 16 years in Oxford. Um, he moved. He's got a better job title and position at Auburn. Uh, obviously, Hugh Freeze is still going to be calling plays, but Derek Nix is going to be involved with recruiting and having some input, probably during game planning, maybe during games, depending on how things. Uh, shape out. It's a guy you freeze is familiar with, so it, it works out just fine. So Auburn has got the offense coordinator they wanted, Ken Austin, who was either an analyst or off the field position. He got promoted to quarterbacks coach. And so, uh, yeah. So so far uh, on the offensive side of things, everything is set. All the positions are filled. Now we are kind of just waiting on the defensive side of things uh chris kiffin is still the number one choice uh it sounds like dj G, dj durkin is bait more than likely the number two choice uh but obviously we're, we're, we're just having to wait and I, and I mentioned this the other day and some people seem a little bit frustrated about it but i mentioned like you really there's not a big need to get these guys at the moment because you're not starting spring football or anything like that until probably late February, early March, depending on what year Auburn spring uh, starts. Um, and I mean, right now you're pretty much just doing like strength conditioning, that kind of thing. They're going to class. So no, I mean, you probably for like future recruits, you would like to have them in so you can, so they can get to work and get to know the guys, but you really, it's not like a big necessity to have them in. So Chris Kiffin, with, with the Houston Texans, they won their game last weekend. They played the Baltimore Ravens, who should beat the Texans on Saturday. I think it's Saturday. <clears throat> um, well, and we'll just have to see what happens. 
either either Hugh Freeze decides to move on, or Chris Kiffin is the guy. Now, if Chris Kiffin, Kiffin has told Hugh Freeze, yes, I'll be there. Let's just see what happens with the playoffs. That's a different story. But it, it just sounds like there has not been any kind of indication on whether or not Chris Kiffin is going to uh, come to Auburn, or maybe he's waiting for a bigger position in the NFL. I mean, who knows? Um, so it's just it's gonna be interesting to see on how that shapes out. DJ Dur- Durkin, um, I'm f- I'm fine with DJ Durkin. I he's a ve- I mean he's he is a pretty good defensive coordinator. He he's not he's he's not bad. Obviously, people are gonna bring up his past at Maryland, but if he if he's been vetted by different coaches and still hired, then I think it's gonna be just fine. Obviously, Auburn Twitter is just their own entity at times, and it's just really ridiculous, uh, but whatever. Uh, I would be fine with that. He, I think that wouldn't be that big of an issue. I think he can recruit. I'm not sure who he's been involved with recruiting. I'm not saying he can't recruit, but I just don't know at what expense. Because like, if you look at the rest of the staff, you freeze Derek Nix, uh, Marcus Davis, Jim, like a lot of these guys on the staff can most definitely recruit. I don't know where DJ Durkin fits into all that. That may be something I need. I'll look into over the weekend to see who he's been involved with when it comes to recruiting, and we'll just maybe find out that way. So, but yeah, yeah. So we so far so far so good. So we should know. At least, I believe it's Saturday. I do believe the Texans and the Ravens play Saturday. We should know by then whether or not we get Chris Kiffin. If not, if they win, more than likely Hugh Freeze is going to move on to DJ Durkin. If they lose, we'll just have to see what Chris Kiffin wants to do. Uh, But yeah, but that's pretty much it, you guys. Thank you guys for watching. Be sure to hit that like and subscribe button. And other than that, I will see you guys in the next video. See ya.